I'm feeling very old. My wife and I just celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were married in the Lehigh Chapel in 1965. So when I, I saw the theme, autumn memories, I thought, you know, back when we first got married, our memories in autumn had nothing to do except for kids and football games and staying home because we sure couldn't go on vacation. Well, 1972 came along and uh, we were in the office equipment business on Long Island. I'll say that again, Long Island. No hard G. Uh, <laughs> and we, we had this office equipment business and we won a trip to Spain for Sharp Electronics. So I said, we've got to do something. We'll get the grandparents up. They took care of the kids. And we were off to Madrid and the Costa del Sol. So my story has, I guess I could re-entitle it uh, Madrid Memories. It was a brand new experience for both of us. But you know, as a young person, you want to always be cool. I mean, you don't want to show, this is the first time, oh my god. So we're sitting on the plane, we're talking to people, and never letting on that we had never done anything like this. So we landed in Madrid, and we went down, and, and we found some place where they were serving sangria. We sat and drank sangria. A whole afternoon. So I can't talk about memories because I don't remember what happened. And, the, and then we went to a bullfight. Oh my God. I mean, they really, really kill the bull. I mean, it, it's the grossest thing. I mean, you watch, you're thinking of the movies and how cool that is. And the, the Toreador guy behind my wife, Jenny, passed out and fell over on her, throwing up on the next couple. Well, that was a memory. But this, all of the people in our group, the Sharp Electronics, were taking these tours. And most of them were the churches, and we did a couple of those. Well, there was this one night, they were promoting the nightlife of Madrid. And I said to Ginny, man, if, <laughs> if we can't find the nightlife on our own, there's something wrong. So let's just, we'll get in a cab, and we'll go down, and we'll discover the nightlife of old Madrid. And we did. And we were able to secure a cab, and we went down, and we had dinner, and oh, it was so romantic with a bottle of wine and the whole thing. So we were walking down the street after oh. dinner, and we heard music coming from this, I don't know what it was. It was, it was American music. And I thought, this has got to be an American nightclub. So we went in, and first of all, let me just say, the extent of my English, or my uh, Spanish, is buenos dias, buenas noches, una más cerveza, and baños. And that's all you really have to know. So we, we, we went down, and we go down these couple steps, and there's a man standing there. And I said, is this an American nightclub? He goes, no comprende. Well, they're all singing songs. They're singing, the, well, it's. They hear the songs over and over again, and they know the words. They don't know what they mean. I still remember the song. Talk about memories. It was me and Mrs. Jones. They got a thing going on. So we went in, and, and we got a table, and we were dancing. And then we went up. We sat at the bar for a while, and we were dancing. I said to Ginny, you know, I don't know when we'll ever get back to Madrid. I owe it to myself to dance with a Spanish senorita. She, she rolled her eyes and said, if this is important to you, who are you looking at? I said, the girl over there in the corner, just gorgeous, you know, the jet black eyes, the, the, that long hair down to her butt, the olive complexion. She goes, if that's important, go ahead. So I went over and I politely motioned that I wanted to dance and we went out on the dance floor and we were boogie, we were I mean, up back in the old days, I could do this stuff. And we danced a few songs. And then, being the gentleman that I am, I escorted her back to her table. And I felt obliged to say something. And as she was seating, 
I said, reside in Madrid. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Reside in Madrid. And she looked up, she said, no, Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> that's my memory of Madrid. Thank you very much.